Hello and welcome to another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Champagne. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Siena men's lacrosse seniors Ken Wright and Tom Moore. But first, let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Siena softball made history this past week, extending what's now the longest winning streak in program history. The Saints went 6-0 and have now won 11 straight games. Most notably, Siena swept visiting Niagara in a MAC doubleheader Friday and was led by a complete game one-hitter by senior Amanda Filippazzo in the nightcap. Here she is after the sweep. So, you know, the whole game we weren't hitting the first few innings, getting a little nervous. When we scored those two runs, I just, I knew we had it. At that point, our defense was solid today. We had huge catches in the outfield. Lindsey McKeever made a great sliding catch. Lauren Milligan, you know, those are big catches that definitely saved us some base runners. Um, I was just trying to stay determined and focus on our goal. It, one team, one goal is our motto to make it to the MAC tournament. And this sweep it just puts us closer, and we're so excited. The Saints host Central Connecticut Wednesday before going on a key road trip this weekend. The Saints will travel to Ryder and Iona, both of whom are also competing for spots in next month's MAC tournament. Women's lacrosse may have dropped their regular season finale at Fairfield, but the Saints did assure themselves of a spot in the MAC tournament. They'll be the number four seed this weekend, and will have a rematch against the Stags at 5 o'clock Friday at Canisius. Baseball is facing an uphill battle to get into the MAC tournament after this past weekend's sweep at the hands of St. Peter's. Now 4-8 in the MAC, Siena would likely need to win every series from here on out. The Saints host the first of those this weekend when Niagara comes to Loudonville for a three-game set. Men's golf finished 20th at the Navy Invitational amidst brutal conditions in Maryland. The Siena men and women will next travel to Orlando, Florida for the 2012 MAG Championships, which tee off on Friday. Men's and women's tennis both saw their seasons end Friday. Both teams dropped decisions to visiting Fairfield on Senior Day at Tri-City in Latham. And men's lacrosse dominated Maris 20-8 on Saturday, earning themselves the team's fourth consecutive MAC regular season championship. Joining me now are seniors Ken Wright and Tom Moore. Guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Ken, we'll start with you. Walk us through the game. Um, well, we started off a little bit slow. Maris thought they might have had a chance. Uh, but second quarter came around, offense started really clicking, uh, putting the ball in the net, and then defense, you know, we locked it down. Tom had some great saves. Uh, all, all together, we played pretty well. Tom, you're one of three senior captains this year. What was it like to go out with such a bang in your last game at Siena Turf Field? Oh, it was great to have uh, everybody contributing, especially uh, so much from the senior class. And, you know, mm -hmm. in front of our home crowd, in front of our parents, it meant a lot to uh, me and my fellow seniors to uh, really go out and put on a show on our last time playing on that field. Ken, Marist was thought to be one of the best teams in the league, especially after lo only losing to Duke by a goal on the road. Has the team ever been better than it's been these past couple of weeks? Um, I think lately we've really been playing well. You know, I don't think you can rank yourself against how you play against like one of the better teams in the country. Sometimes teams just show don't show up. We knew what we had to do. We came out uh, on every level playing really hard, and we took care of business. Tom, you guys have a big game coming up Tuesday night at U Albany. The Great Danes came into Siena Turf Field and won last year's matchup. What's it going to be like going to U Albany on Tuesday? Uh, it's going to be a tough game, but you know uh, these guys that were there last year, we want to beat them this year. Uh, they had a down year last year, but one of those wins was against us, and uh, we had a pretty good year, but we kind of regret losing that one, and uh, we kind of want to bring it to them on uh, tomorrow night, and uh, hopefully we come out with a W. Ken, with two more wins, your class will become the winningest class in the history of Siena men's lacrosse. How much fun has it been these past four years playing with these guys? Um, we've had a great time, all of us together. Uh, if we get those wins and we, we break the record, that would be an excellent milestone for our grade. Um, it's been a really good time. Tom, before we get to the lightning round, we can't let this go unnoticed. You are one of ten finalists nationally for the Lowe's Senior Class Award for men's lacrosse. What kind of an honor is that? How cool is that? Um, it's a very cool honor. and. Uh, I'm very humbled by it, and it means a lot to me. And I know that I couldn't get there without my uh, my family and my coaches, and especially my teammates. You know, those guys are they make me good. Ken sitting next to me, and all those guys that score the goals, and you know, just they make it easy for me. And uh, the reason that I have the uh, I'm up for this award is because of those guys. You can vote for Tom once per day at SeniorClassAward.com. We urge you to do so. Lightning around time. Tom, you had a little bit of experience yeah. with this last year, yeah. but I understand you've got some few tricks up your sleeve this year, so I'm looking oh, we'll forward see. to seeing these. <laughs> Ken, welcome to this one. Here yeah. we go. Your favorite movies? My favorite movie is, uh, once again, it still hasn't changed. It's The Lord of the Rings, the special extended edition DVDs. Uh, Joe Dirt. Favorite TV shows? Uh, Seinfeld. Two and a Half Men with Charlie Sheen in it. The funniest member of the team? Pat Daly. 
still hasn't changed. It's not going to change. Yeah. <laughs> Until he graduates, that's not going to change. Yeah. And Ken, you're not. Yeah, no, head. definitely Imagine not, Dylan. Yeah. Tom, this was one of the biggest hits, hits last year. Your biggest pet peeve involved uh, face-off specialist Chris Brancato. This year, though, I understand it involves one of the top players, not just on the team, but in the country. Tell us a little bit about this. Uh, yeah, well, Br Chris Brancato, he really changed his uh, eating habits a little bit. Not too much. We're still working on him. But uh, Brian Newfeld, he does a lot for our team, and he's one of my best friends. But... Uh, I have a problem with him checking his statistics before he goes to bed every single night, you know? They don't change, and yet again, he's on the computer checking to see how many goals he has every night before he goes to sleep. And Ken, yours? Uh, I won't call anyone out, but uh, some guys on the team that don't wash their hands after they use the bathroom. So <laughs> I hope they know who they are. But uh, pretty, it's pretty, pretty bad sometimes. <laughs> if you guys could have dinner, this is the last question here. If you could have dinner with any three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Um... I gotta say my mom again, you know. Because um, you'd still be dead if you didn't I, say yeah, my mom. Yeah, I'd still be dead if I didn't say my mom. Um, and then I'd have to say my grandfather who recently passed. And uh, my third member would be uh, Dan Quincy McKeon, our assistant coach, because uh, he'd be a funny one to have at dinner, just put it that way. <laughs> Can you? Uh, I'd have to say uh, my mom, uh, Larry Hamilton, surf legend, and <laughs> Coach Rex Ryan of the New York Jets. Guys, thanks very much for your time. Thanks. Congratulations on the Mac Rather season title, and best of luck this week. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Again, Sienna Men's Lacrosse has clinched the number okay. one seed at next month's MAC tournament. The Saints return to the field tomorrow at UAlbany for a 7 p.m. tilt, and that game will be televised live on Time Warner Cable Sports. They'll then wrap up the regular season at Manhattan on Saturday. Finally, Sienna held its annual first Niagara year-end celebration on Thursday night to honor this past season's Sienna Men's basketball team. We were there. Check it out. The Siena Basketball First Niagara year-end celebration was held Thursday night at the Hilton Garden Inn in Troy. Players, alumni, and supporters of the program gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of the 2011-2012 team, one that surpassed expectations with a memorable season despite extremely low numbers. This team was so fun to watch and so inspiring. I think around the Capital Region there were so many people who weren't necessarily basketball fans weren't necessarily Sienna fans, but everybody wanted to talk to us about that in the media. I told people a number of times during the year that I had so many people come up and praise how well the team played, how great the coaches did. By the end of the year, it was such a successful year just from what these guys did and from how people responded. I want to thank everybody in this room for that because you were a big part of it. Awards were handed out, and senior Kyle Downey won the team's Most Valuable Player Award to a standing ovation from those in attendance. The outgoing class of 2012 used the event as a platform to express their gratitude to the program, and most of all, to its fans. It means a lot running out of the locker room, no matter at home or away, and seeing a sea of green behind us, ready to cheer us on. From Spokane, Washington, to Orlando, Florida, Saint Nation was always there. You give us your all. You cheer. Um, no matter if we're, we're winning, no matter if we're down by Tony, I mean, we, we've had some great games. We have some, some tough games this year, and you guys, have been, you guys have been supporters to us every single night, and I really, really appreciate it. You guys were always loyal, supportive, and uh, you guys have always traveled everywhere. I really didn't get a sense of the fan base uh, until my freshman and sophomore year um, with trips to Florida, Pittsburgh, Kansas. Uh, in the state of Washington. Thinking back, you know, everything I wanted in college, it was from Siena. Um, and most importantly, the reason was because people care. You know, you're not going to find too many mat bet or basketball banquets with this many people here. You know, people care about when the program loses. You know, people care even more when they win. And for me, that was something to work for. Siena head coach Mitch Bonaguro closed the event and spoke extremely highly of players he said taught him a great deal. This year what I learned is there's a lot more than winning. There really is. You can get satisfaction from not winning 20 games. You can get satisfaction from taking a group of guys who are under man, who basically in every game, most of the games we play, we're not supposed to win and achieve something really, really spectacular. 